Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in the USLW League. We take care of the South Atlantic and the South Central, and we will let you know what is going on in both of these divisions as we're getting closer and closer and closer to the postseason. And we will make sure that you're kept as up-to-date as possible with the two top divisions in the southeast part of the United States. We will go through all of the activity that happened in the last seven days, get you ready for the next seven days. We've got our match of the week, and that one is a fun one involving Athens and Athens United and Nashville City with the highlights coming up from Clark Central. But once again, we'll get you ready through all of the activity that's going on in uh, USLW here in short order. So let's get you through the last seven days and get you ready for the next seven. South Atlantic. On the 21st at Wake Med, North Carolina Courage, 1-0 winners over Carolina Ascent at Charlotte Christian in the South Atlantic. Wake, 2-0 winners over the Charlotte Eagles. That one was back on last Saturday. Nolensville Stadium in the South Central. Tennessee SC shut out Greenville Liberty, 1-0 at Spain Park. It was Asheville City over Birmingham Legion by the score of 2-0. Last Sunday in the South Atlantic, North Carolina Courage put 9 on Fayetteville at Tormenta Stadium, South Georgia Tormenta beat North Carolina Fusion 3-0, and now our match of the week from Tuesday. It was at Clark Central High School, Athens United Asheville City. It was a fantastic match, and it was a fun one to hear when the highlights came across the board. Here they are. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at Athens United and USLW. Taylor Lewin on this free kick. Probably going to look for a long ball. It's a good ball for Yelton to run towards. The, the goalkeeper misses it, and Lewin scores from the farthest distance ever. This is a Guinness World Record. She got us used to these beautiful goals, and now she really destroyed every record. If you thought it was impossible to score before the 50-yard line, well, you were young. Wrong, because Lewin scored from the 40-yard line on the other half of the field. Incredible. Incredible. What a fantastic player. Who would have said Athens FC won, Asheville City won. What a big, beautiful surprise on the Athens FC side with now Asheville City not expecting uh, such a reaction from the home team. They were probably coming in thinking that this was going to be an easy game, and here we are. It's all open. This is the game of soccer. Danielle Lewin trying to put a difficult ball down. She maintains it in the field, but it's good for Gordon. Gordon in the middle, Hamperly, again Hamperly. And still, after being hit in the head uh, in the first half with a very hard kick, the ball deflected uh, on uh, the back of her head, but she was fine uh, one minute afterwards. Lewin now turning around really well, giving a beautiful ball for Parker. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. Parker, Parker, Parker! Athens FC 2, what is happening? Oh my God, Lewin assists for Parker who finds the first goal of her season. This is a game that makes absolutely no sense. Thank you God for giving us soccer. Parker. She's had a tough season herself, and there's nothing more beautiful than a comeback history. Athens FC is two. Asheville City is one. Incredible at the Death Valley. The ball is cleared out. Now it's only Asheville City with the ball. And Athens closing up behind, parking the bus as they should. Izquierdo. Go back to Dwyer, cross in, here's the goal, Asheville City, Izquierdo. Beautiful cross by Dwyer, Izquierdo, just needs to hit it, it's a 2-2. Only four minutes left on the clock and Athens FC receives a goal. The game is on a tie right now, 2-2, nothing is lost, still minutes to play. Still minutes to defend the result and maybe go for a go from the distance. That's what at least uh, Taylor Lewin thought. Not her best idea this time. Fun call, no doubt about it. Also on Tuesday in the South Central, Chattanooga Red Wolves went to Furman, beat Greenville Liberty by the score of 2-0. In the South Atlantic on 
Wednesday at Manchester Meadow. Carolina has sent 5-0 winners over South Carolina United Bantams. Also at uh, Wake Med, North Carolina Courage had a big win over Charlotte Eagles. Also at McPherson Stadium, North Carolina Fusion put six on Fayetteville Fury. In a Ting Stadium, a Ting Park, it was South Georgia Tormenta shutting out Wake FC by the score of 1-0. At Spain Park, Tennessee SC beat Birmingham Legion in the South Central 2-1. At Marathon on Thursday, uh, SSA shut out Athens United, and so now that sets up all of the activity that's going to be happening this weekend. At the stadium field at Protective, you've got Birmingham Legion and Athens United in the South Central. At uh, Wake Med, North Carolina Courage hosting North Carolina Fusion in the South Atlantic. At the soccer fields at Southeastern Freightline Soccer Center at 7.30 Eastern tonight, it's Bantams hosting Carolina Ascent. UNC Asheville has Asheville City and Tennessee SC. Then on your Sunday night, it is South Georgia Tormenta hosting Fayetteville Fury, and it is also at CHI Memorial Stadium on your Sunday, Chattanooga Red Wolves hosting SSA. So that gets you through the uh, week that will be and uh, gets you ready as we head uh, at a sprinter's pace into the month of July. So let's take a peek at the standings in these divisions, and we will uh, lay it all out for you. So uh, in the South Atlantic, North Carolina Courage, 11 matches. They've only given up six goals. Scored 49, 31 points. They're at 2.82 with a record of 10-0-1. South Georgia Tormenta, 11 matches. They have a five-point gap between themselves and Courage, but they also have a five-point lead over North Carolina Fusion, who are in third. Record of 8-1-2, 2.36 points per match. Fusion third at 21 points at 1.91 with a record of 7-4. and four. Carolina Ascent. 19 points in 11 matches, a record of 6-4-1, and one. points per match at 1.73. Wake at 1.58 points, 19 matches, played one more match. Bantams at 1.18 through 13 matches at a record of 4-6-1. and one. Charlotte Eagles have one win in 12. Fayetteville have yet to win this season, so that sets up the South Atlantic for you. In the South Central, it is Tennessee SC on top with 29 points with a record of 9-0-2. They've only given up eight goals. They've scored 48 this season. Tennessee SC has points per match at 2.64. Asheville City at 7-2-2 in 11 matches, 23 points and 2.09 per match. Red Wolves are in third at 5-4-2. 11 matches played, 17 points. SSA, 11 matches played, 15 points with a record of 4-4-3. Greenville Liberty have played one more match. They have 16 points. But with a record of 5-6-1, and one, it comes out to a points-per-match average of 1.33. Keep an eye on SSA and Greenville Liberty and Chattanooga when it comes to slots 3, 4, and, regrettably, 5. Birmingham Legion has uh, 11 matches played. They have 10 points, a record of 3-7-1. and one. And the uh, draw that you heard with Athens United was their first point of the season in 11 matches. So that takes you through what's going on in uh, USLW with the schedules and the standings and all of the stuff that's going on involving USLW. And when it comes to uh, the final weekend, the playoff structure in the W League, just so you know, just so you have it, in the Southern Conference, the top team from the South Central, the Southeast, and Lone Star advance. Wild card bid awarded to the team with the highest points per game remaining, South Central and Southeast. And so that gets you into your seedings and your hosts. The conference semifinals and finals are the first weekend of July. W League semifinals are 12 through 14. The W League finals somewhere between the 19th and the 21st, always streamed live with our friends at Sports Engine Play. And you can always follow along what's going on in USLW on the 280-character app and on Instagram. Power rankings, just so you have them after week eight, brought to us by our friends at Prinks Tires. Florida Elite right now at 12-0. and 0, They stayed at number one, Detroit City. Stayed at number two. AHFC Royal stayed at number three. FC Olympia out west with a record of eight and O, oh, up one from number five. Long Island Rough Riders at number five. Tennessee SC stayed at number six. Courage stayed at uh, that Courage went up five to number seven. Aurora or at eight. California Storm down two to nine. Sa- uh, and then you had the San Francisco Glens at eight one and one up four from fourteen. They are now at number ten through 11 through 15. It is Indy 11, Lancaster, Inferno, South Georgia, Tormenta cracking the top 15 at number 13, Morris Elite and Eagle FC. 
Once again, if you're in market and can catch some of the action in the USLW, please do. You can see some of the, the brighter talent as they are trying to determine their next steps and stay sharp for them in the USLW League. Remember, USL Super League coming up just around the corner, and you'll see, you're seeing a lot of names that had USLW pedigrees now going into the USL Super League. So very, very cool stuff there as it continues to grow and evolve. If you're in market, go watch. If you're in market, can't make it, follow along on your local social media and the team's social media providers. If you're out of market, remember you can go to Sports Engine Play, check matches there, watch them live, have them on your devices, and you can stay as up-to-date as possible. Also, you can hang out with us every week, and we'll let you know what's going on here in the South Atlantic and the South Central. So for everyone at SDH, that's your tour of the South Atlantic and the South Central and the USLW. Play it safe, everybody. Enjoy your game.